Hello humans, my name is Kayo AI Overload and Stability AI just released another new AI model called Stable Diffusion 3.5 Medium, only one week after the release of the 3.5 Large. And this model is aiming to outperform the 3.0 Medium model released a few months ago and to bury the Stable Diffusion Excel model once and for all. So if you have a weak GPU and you want to run the latest state-of-the-art text-to-image AI model, well, this model is maybe for you. But how does it actually perform? form compared to the 3.5 large and 3.0 medium and stable diffusion excel and should you switch to this newly released model well this is what i'm going to showcase in this video so that being said sit back relax and let's go all right so to install a new stable diffusion 3.5 medium you can either use the updated automatic installer that is available for my patreon supporters for both the local install and rom pod or you can just follow the manual installation guide that is available in the description down below and the previous simple only in one 3.5 workflow that I showed you in my previous video will actually work with this medium model as well because it is kind of essentially the same type of models and all you have to do is basically go into your manager, click on update all, then load the model and you're good to go. Oh and also speaking of workflow, my ultimate only in one workflow v2 for Flux is normally coming this weekend so don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Patreon so that you get notified once it's released. Okay so now let's begin. So just like the 3.5 large, what makes this 3.5 medium model so special? And are there any differences between the 3.5 large and this 3.5 medium? Well, first, if you remember correctly, the 3.5 large was an 8.1 billion parameters model, whereas this new 3.5 medium is at 2.5 billion parameters, meaning that the model is much smaller and thus requires much less VRAM to run and is much faster to generate an image. So if you have a weak GPU and you cannot run models like Flux or Stable Diffusion 3.5 large at a high speed, well, this 3.5 medium is probably your best bet because if you can run stable diffusion excel at a good speed since it is pretty much more or less the same sized models you'll be able to run the 3.5 medium at the same type of speed the second good part of this model is that again just like the 3.5 large it is really really good at following your prompt so again i'm going to use the same prompt that i used for the previous model which was basically a photography of a gorgeous blonde woman real estate agent with blue eyes red lipstick wearing an orange suit with diamond ear sitting on a chair in our office. So now if I can generate and we get something like this, which is once again exactly what I asked for, a blonde woman, blue eyes, red lipstick, diamond earrings, orange suit, sitting on a chair, basically a great image perfectly following my prompt with a pretty good image quality. Like once again, to remind you, if I actually choose the 3.5 large and I generate the same image, we get something like this. A very similar looking image, although it's a little bit of a higher quality compared to the 3.5 medium. However, that same image generated with the 3.5 medium was generated like three times faster. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. And basically that's just it. The 3.5 medium is basically like a 3.5 large, just a little bit faster with a little bit less quality but it usually holds more or less the same qualities as the 3.5 large such as once again the ability to be trained and fine-tuned much easily compared to a model like flux since this is not a distant model where you can also use the negative prompt the cfg scale just like i showed in my previous video just like the 3.5 it has a huge array of styles right out of the box so like for example if i input something like an illustration of a young woman inside of space element if not i press generate it gives me something like this which looks absolutely fantastic just really really beautiful and it knows like a bunch of different styles and artists that you can use in your prompt like for example this is the same illustration but this time in the style of frank franzetta which once again looks really really good so once again just like the 3.5 large it has a lot of different styles inside of the model right out of the box so that in the future if you want to fine-tune it on a different style this should be very very easy however there is also one other thing that makes this model actually much better than the 3.5 large. And that is the fact that the 3.5 large had a limit of 1 megapixel resolution, whereas the 3.5 medium has a limit of 2 megapixel, meaning that you can generate high resolution images right out of the box, just like Flux or Stable Diffusion Excel. So like for example, if I input something like 1792 for the width and I click generate, I get this types of really cool image, which looks kinda pretty cool. 
and this was generated right out of the box. If you try the same thing with the 3.5 large, if you remember correctly my previous video, that same image with the same parameters would give you something like this. Oh my god, this is horrifying. So yeah, it really gives you this really horrible atrocity, really coming from a nightmare, because it is above 1 megapixel in resolution, which is something that the 3.5 large does not support. Whereas the 3.5 medium has no problem generating those types of large resolution images. And all of that without any fine tunes right out of the box. So yeah, I mean, that's that's really, really cool. And yes, once again, I know you're gonna ask, just like the 3.5 large, the 3.5 medium is a truly uncensored model. So you can generate your bazongas and buntas without any issues. However, that being said, there is still a few problems and a few cons of using this model. Because yes, this model is truly the Stable Diffusion Excel kit. There is absolutely no doubt in that, because if you, for example, generate an image with the 3.5 medium with this types of amazing quality, and you take the same prompt and put it inside Stable Diffusion Excel, this is the type of images that you would get. So yeah, really not the same types of quality. This is Stable Diffusion Excel, and this is the 3.5 medium, two models that should be more or less of the same size parameters. And no matter what prompt you choose for the generation, the 3.5 medium will always outperform the Stable Diffusion Excel. I mean, this is Stable Diffusion Excel, this is the base model model that was used to fine-tune models that could generate images like these. So imagine what we could do with a model like the 3.5 medium. This could be huge. So yes, I'm gonna say it and say it again, the 3.5 medium destroys the Stable Diffusion Excel on every point. It is just the more superior model, even though it has pretty much the same size and requires more or less the same amount of VRAM to run. So yeah, the 3.5 medium definitely wins. However, that being said, the 3.5 medium is not a perfect model, and it still has the same amount of troubles with anatomy, that the 3.5 large has or that the 3.0 model had as well. Like for example, if I try to generate the super infamous a photo of a woman laying in grass and I click generate, once again I get these very weird types of image with some weird anatomy, very reminiscent of what the 3.0 model could do. So like once again, if I generate another image, it still looks kind of weird. Let me actually like generate a few of them at the same time so we can compare it with the 3.0. So there you go, this is the 3.5 medium and pretty much none of the images look really good. They all look kind of weird. And if I do the same thing with the 3.0 this time, you can see that here again, we get the same types of weird images that have become so infamous in the community. And yet it still managed to generate like two better images than the one generated with the 3.5. So yeah, in terms of like the quality of the anatomy, the 3.5 medium is really not that much better compared to the 3.0. If I, for example, generate another image, uh, like for example, a photo of a woman doing yoga in a busy park in a dynamic pose, and I click generate, which as you can see, once again, generate those horrible atrocities, almost with the same types of quality that the 3.0 used to do. And actually, if I do the same thing with the 3.0 this time, and as you can see, this is the images made by the 3.0, so pretty much on the same level of atrocity compared to the 3.5, when you have some extra legs, extra limbs, where basically the human anatomy is just not present and not respected at all, and it's really just difficult to understand which one is which. So if a few months ago people complained about the 3.0 and how bad it was for human anatomy and refused to use it because of that, I don't see a lot of reason why people wouldn't complain this time around. Because, I mean, this is really the same types of generation. And funnily enough, Stable Diffusion Excel actually does a little bit better compared to all of those models. At least when it comes to basic human anatomy. So, I mean... Yeah, this is really not good. So basically, yes, the 3.5 medium is better than Stable Diffusion Excel overall when it comes to, to the quality of image generation because it's more precise, it follows the problem better, it has a lot of styles built into the model, but the problem is that the 3.0 used to be the same types of model as well. It was also a model that could follow the prompt pretty well. It was also a model that was more powerful than the Stable Diffusion Excel. 
that had a lot of styles and could generate very beautiful pictures, but this model was forsaken by the community for its bad human anatomy and the horrible commercial license, whereas the 3.5 medium still has the same anatomy issues, but this time has a much better license. So now I'm wondering if the community will use this model or not. This is really not up to me to answer. This is a question that I'm asking you. And basically my personal opinion on this model is that, well, just like when I said on the 3.0, last time that I made a video about it, I said that it was a very powerful model that could become much much better if people were to find tune and train new checkpoints so that the final models become better and better and better just like the ones that we have right now based on the stable diffusion excel and if that model is more powerful than stable diffusion excel imagine what kind of model we could make if the community decides to train it with the same level of enthusiasm as they did with stable diffusion excel but once again this is really up to the community not me so basically i'm going to conclude this video with the same conclusion that i did in my previous video meaning that for now i'm not going to make any new videos about the 3.5 models since I don't know if the community are gonna use them or not I'm still gonna stick now with the flux model because it is a much better much more powerful model and the flux model can generate some absolutely beautiful amazing images with absolutely amazing human anatomy from the base model only this is still right now my favorite model and since apparently right now as I'm making this video we have a an actual real fine-tuned model of the Flux dev model, maybe the Flux model has more future than I thought initially. So yeah, I mean, I guess wait and see. That's some really good news. So yeah, there you go. This has been the 3.5 medium. I'm not quite sure how the community will really react to this release. At least as of right now, we'll see in the next few weeks if people find better ways of using this, or maybe people will completely forget the 3.5 and will stay on the flux instead. For now, I really have no idea. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of this new release, what you think of this new model. Are you gonna use it? Do you think the community will use it and replace the Stable Diffusion Excel with it? Or do you think it's gonna have the same backlash as the 3.0, where the model will be forgotten in about a week? So definitely let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Patreon to get notified for my next video. And definitely try this model yourself right now so that you can form your own opinion and don't forget to have some fun. And there we are with folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the reason why I'm able to make these videos, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.